guys welcome back to my channel in today's tutorial today's video it's not actually a tutorial but anyways we are going to be making an update to this video i created about a year ago on how to create behance portfolio case studies in photoshop so today we are going to be doing an update that's we're going to be doing that in both photoshop and in illustrator and the gag there is that or the good news there is that i'll be releasing this what has been created today for free in my shop so you can get this template which you can use for your behance case studies for free at my shop and this is just a gentle reminder if you are yet to like get your own free to one page brand guide for my shop what are you waiting for what are you doing it's absolutely free over 100 people as downloaded if i'm correct yes 80 of you 100 of you have downloaded that um brand guide and i've tweaked it to your taste and found it helpful so if you're here to cop yours i mean this the link will be in the description box so head on there and what will also be created in this video will also be made available in that same link in my shop so don't forget to subscribe and let's get right to the video As opposed to the initial tutorial, we are going to be working with just one artboard for this presentation and the artboard is in the recommended near side of 1400 pixel wide. For the height, we are going to be increasing it as we go. One thing I like to do when creating my presentation slides is to, to use like a mock-up of whatever I'm doing first and foremost so that it will be like an introduction to the presentation and to make people to like scroll down the more and this is what i did with this um logo mock-up i tried to like put it first then as they are scrolling they will be seeing the breakdown of the whole design process the logo without the mock-up or my designs without the mock-up this also applies to like poster design fire design just make sure like your first intro keeps your um audience hooked and also you can also change the color of the artboard by default the artboard usually comes in white so you can just once you click on the artboard you can change the color at the um i don't know what that's called the top bars you can always change the color there and another way for you to like increase the yeah this is me changing the color to increase the artboard you do not want to click on this plus signs by the corner this plus size in circles you just want to click on it and drag it that's the way you just increase the height of your artboard and now i'm just creating text to like explain what the project is about what was the client's pain point the creative direction i took this thing is not just it's not limited to just this you can you can put in whatever you want to put there so you can see as i drag that i did not click on the um buttons by the side i just dragged it from the bottom and just dragged it down and this is me just putting the flat um designs so like i said before you go into like creating beyond the case studies you must have what you want to the story you want to tell you must have crafted it well how you want to take your um viewers from point a to point b without letting them lose interest and this is just what i did in this template there are prompts for you to to guide to guide you and also this um color palette thing that's here it is also in the template so you can always just use it edit it and just edit the color edit the type and all of that stuff so now i'm just going to shut up and let you watch the video to the end
now you have your long scrolling presentation for behance all you have to do now is just to export it as a jpeg make sure to export it as a jpeg you don't want to export it as a pdf as it is not accepted by behance so export it as a single jpeg upload it to your behance and that's all you don't have to like start uploading each files checking if you, you position them correctly because that's one of the disadvantages or downside of having numerous artboards you might make a mistake in uploading them so where a is supposed to be becomes where c is so to avoid all of that stuff this is a great way so just export it upload it and you are good to go once again don't forget to download the template the link is going to be in the description box share it with your friend that might need it thumbs up this video and i'll see you in my next video bye